They lay the sand trap down upside down so that the uh, loop in the center of the sand trap is on top. And then lay the wanker on top of that and attach with a cord or a small beaner, whatever you want to do. Attach the wanker to the loop in the middle of the sand trap. Bring your yellow cable down, feed it through the guide and bring it all the way down with enough spare slack there. Set up the sliding loop so that it looks like this. Make sure the little retention washer is all the way down against the red attachment to the wanker there. Then what we're going to do is roll this very tightly put it on the ground and pull it and use two hands and make sure you roll it very tight all the way up till it's snug against the red attachment. Feed the loop through the grommet pull it down a bit feed the cable through Pull tight and slide. Don't over tighten, but definitely snug so that this cable is firmly in there. And then repeat with the bottom one. Pull it through, snug it up nicely. Pull all your spare cable through like that, and that uh, is the bottom drain all set up. Okay, now I've made a easy modification to the sand trap here. I've put a grommet in on both sides, about 13-14 inches from the bottom. Through this, you want to feed. You can either put a small beaner through there, or you can feed a cord just like this through it, pull it tight and uh, whatever sort of knot you need to keep it tight. This will help to retain the sand trap over the wanker and we do the same on the other side. Once that is done we move to the top and Make sure this is on the inside. And then we're going to repeat the same on the top here. Once it's filled, once we've got it hanging upright and it's filled, then we're going to close the top as well. Now if you're in a pothole, you may most of the time not even have to close the top. It'll be suspended, the water will be in there and that'll just be open. If you have a bit of a slope, a steep slope out of the pothole, then you may need to close this. And you close it exactly the same way and you use the short cable through the two loops and that is going to be your retrieval. And your retrieval rope attaches to the beaner. Now when standing in a pothole, probably up to your waist in water or whatever, hold all four webbing attachments of the sand trap in your hand like that, with your palm facing the wanker. Hold the wanker with your thumb there on the rolled rope. Open the bottom and then you just walk around in circles, filling it up with water. Keep lifting it up, fill with water. You can hold it under the water and lift each time, however you want to uh, fill it when it's sufficient water. Attach your beaners to all four corners like that and hang it. Make sure that the roll side with the adjustable loops are away from the wall. So you can see them. They don't want to be against the wall like that. That's how they should be against the wall, like it's against my leg now. Now sometimes you may be in a pothole that's completely full of water and there's no 
exposed lip. If the pothole is not too big, a bunch of people need to get in there and you need to slosh water out so that you've got enough of an exposed slope above the water to hang the wanker and the sand trap combination. That should be easy enough. I've done it myself a few times. Okay, uh, have a good one out there and be safe.